Yermiyahu Jeremiah 10. Hear ye at the word which Yahweh speaks unto you, O house of Yashadael. Thus says Yahweh, Learn not the way of the heathen, and be not dismayed at the signs of heaven, for the heathen are dismayed at them. For the customs of the people are vain. For one cuts a tree out of the forest, the work of the hands of the workmen with the axe. They deck it with silver and with gold. They fasten it with nails and with hammers, that it move not. They are upright as the palm tree, but speak not. They must needs be born, because they cannot go. Be not afraid of them, for they cannot do evil. Neither also is it in them to do good. For as much as there is none like unto you, O Yahuwah, you are great, and your name is great in might. Who would not fear you, O king of nations? For to you does it appertain. For as much as among all the wise men of the nations and in all their kingdoms, there is none like unto you. But they are altogether brutish and foolish. The tree is a doctrine of vanities. Silver spread into plates is brought from Tarshish and gold from Ufaz, the work of the workmen and of the hands of the founder. Blue and purple is their clothing. They are all the work of cunning men. But Yahuwah is the Elohim of truth. He is the living Elohim and the everlasting King. At his wrath, the earth shall tremble and the nation shall not be able to abide his indignation. Thus shall ye say unto them, the Elohim that have not made the heavens and the earth, even they shall perish from the earth and from under these heavens. He has made the earth by his power. He has established the world by his wisdom and has stretched out the heavens by his discretion. When he utters his voice, there is a multitude of waters in the heavens and he causes the vapors to ascend from the ends of the earth. He makes the lightnings with rain and causes, rather, and brings forth the wind out of his treasures. Every man is brutish in his knowledge. Every founder is confounded by graven image. For his molten image is falsehood, and there is no breath in them. They are vanity and the work of errors. In the time of their visitation, they shall perish. The portion of Yaakov is not like them, for he is the former of all things, and Yashadael is the rod of his inheritance. Yahuwah Savaoth is his name. Gather up your wares out of the land, O inhabitant of the fortress. For thus says Yahuwah, Behold, I will sling out at the inhabitants of the land at this once, and will distress them, that they may find it so. Woe is me for my hurt, my wound is grievous. But I said, truly this is a grief, and I must bear it. My tabernacle is spoiled, and all my cords are broken. My children are gone forth of me, and they are not. There is none to stretch forth my tent any more, and to set up my curtains. For the pastors are become brutish, and have not sought at Yahuwah. Therefore they shall not prosper, and all their flocks shall be scattered. Behold, the noise of the brute is come, and a great commotion out of the north country, to make at the cities of Yahudah desolate, and a den of dragons. O Yahuwah, I know that the way of man is not in himself. It is not in man that walks to direct at his steps. O Yahuwah, correct me, but with judgment, not in your anger, lest you bring me to nothing. Pour out your fury upon the heathen that know you not, 
and upon the families that call not on your name. For they have eaten up at Yaakov and devoured him and consumed him and have made at his habitation desolate.